Hello you hominoids. Let's have a look at this one here. This is back in Monday, 22nd of March, 2021. And this is the Channel 7 helicopter flying over from Richmond Road, Windsor Downs, heading north towards McGrath's Hill. Now, what you can see there before I hit the play button, that's the railway line. And that's the bypass bridge that goes into Windsor. And then you'll see that the new bypass bridge that's been there for 10 years is higher than the actual uh, flood water. And then people protested about the new Windsor Bridge and they said it wasn't high enough. So let's have a look. So there's the railway line. There's the, there's the um, road there. That's Windsor. That's Macquarie Street. That's the Windsor Hospital. If I know a lot of people won't recognise it, but that's the Windsor Hospital. This is South Creek. This is the one that comes all the way here from St Mary's, all the way from Campbelltown. This is what people don't get in their head. Everything comes right through there, right? Campbelltown, Liverpool. There is the old Jolly Frog pub. So it's getting rebuilt. There's Macquarie Street. Brooks Tires is over there. And look at the new Windsor Bridge. There it is there. Look, it's underwater. And the old Windsor Bridge is underneath that. Now, that there is the Terrace Road that goes up there to Freeman's Reach. That's Richmond Air Force Base. And then as we come down here, this is, where am I looking? I just quickly lost it for a second. Uh, Windsor Boat Ramp. Yeah, Windsor Boat Ramp. Sorry, no, that's the other side of the river. There's the big house I always talk about. There's across the road there from the Windsor Bridge. There's the Windsor Bridge there. And that's it, they're going out to Wilberforce. This is Terrace Road. This is the one that goes up to Freeman's Reach. How short memories people have. Now let's have a look at it again. So I'll put it on pause. Let's get our footings again. Now, now we're coming across the lowlands. Now that there is the Hawkesbury River. That's the lowlands beneath the rack base. That's the Hawkesbury River over there, that channel. Now, I done a story, there's a video down there, I said the road disappeared out along um, Cornwallis Road. That's it here. That's it down here. And it cut through the, it cut through the riverbank. Went from the lowlands, cut through here into the Hawkesbury, and this here is Freeman, Freeman, Freeman's Reach side. Now you notice how all the old pioneer settlers built their houses up on stilts? Look at the stilts on that. Look. And people drive down there and they wonder why they're so high up. Look. <laughs> People just don't get it. That's the Hawkesbury. Now, Warragamba Dam is that way. Anyway, let's just go back a bit. And let's just start this all over again, just a little bit, just for a minute. Right. So there's our road bridge. That's McGrath's Hill. Now, 
that South Creek here, which is one at the back of my place over here at St Mary's, Mount Druitt, and Ropes Creek runs into that. Now, all that there, it's got to come down to there. That's why all this here fills up, because it all comes out through here, and then comes down here to the boat ramp. Now, this is the boat ramp way down here, and it tries to squeeze out, and it can't. And, of course, here is the new Windsor Bridge. And the old one's right next to it. Now, you watch. You'll see the Jolly Frog again. Was I a little bit off? No, that's not it. No, that's a Windsor Bridge here. Sorry. There's the Jolly Frog. Very, very distinct little isolated building. So there's the new Windsor Bridge. That's the house where we mate lived 40 years ago and his son died. There it is there. There's the new one. Look, it's underwater. And there's the road down there to the old Windsor Bridge. That's right next to it. And there's that roof, the house with the green roof I always talk about. And that's the park. That's Macquarie Park over there. I've done the video. This is the road that goes to Wilberforce. And that's Terrace Road there. That's the one I did there at that time when they are building this intersection. Now here's a, so here's the big house with the green roof. There's an excavator underwater. Because they left it there. Look, still got the flashing light on it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, that's now a big roundabout. Now these power poles here, this is the road going to Wilberforce. All this line of power poles. And then that's the road there going to Freeman's Reach up Terrace Road. Now Warragamba Dam is directly that way, see? So there's the new bridge buildings there when they're building it. So there's a road sign. I was actually going to rent a house just over there somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm so glad I never did. So now we're looking back at Windsor. So there's the new Windsor Bridge here underwater and there's that house up there and the water went right up there to the top of that balcony when my mother was there and she took a photo and I had that photo so we're going to find it so now we're coming up here this is the Hawkesbury where it comes around Macquarie Park and then this is Richmond Laylands that's Richmond Rap Base and that's North Richmond out over here that's why that's up on high ground so there's the Hawkesbury. This is the one where I said the guy drowned years ago when I was a kid. Um, we were down there for the day on that bend. And he went in the... Sorry, no, the bend's around here, but somewhere I've lost it. Anyway, that's where he drowned. And I did that one where I drove down to the Windsor River down by the big shed. Now there's the big shed there. And that's where I drove the car down here. And I parked in these trees down here. That's where that is. That's that big silver shed video. And this is a country practice. That's where that was filmed. All right, let's zoom it up a bit. Let's go a bit further. Oh, look at that. Look at the cement mix it look. It's underwater. Look at the flood water's going past that. Is that real? Now, where's this at? Um, I'll soon tell you. Right, those big trees. Yeah, that's the Hawkesbury. That's the Hawkesbury down here. So, you clearly see the Hawkesbury River. Oh, that's where the guy drowned. That's it. And we come in there. That's Cornwallis Road. And it was just about here somewhere where I found that there's a video there, Cornwallis Road, and the road is washed away. Well, this is why it washed away, because when all this flood water come back from this side into here, back into the river, the old um, steel pipes couldn't cope. So that's the top end of Terrace Road. I recognise that like anything. See, because that goes around there, and then you can actually drive up there. So there's a road there. So that actually goes down underneath there. So that Cornwallis Road video I got where the 
bank has been washed out. That's the one here somewhere on this other side of Cornwallis Road. If you want to have a look, just look for the yellow and the red roof. See, that's, yeah, this is the shed where I drive down. See, there's the road there. That goes up there to um, Freeman's Reach. That's Terrace Road. This is where I drive down here. And I took the car down there and I showed you down there with Mr. Dog. And see, look, there's all the power poles. See, so there's the road up there to Freeman's Reach. A country practice, a TV show, was filmed out there many years ago. Now, you might notice the water's going this way because it's broke its banks. So what it does, the river floods up this side and then floods this side and fills that up. And then once that levels up, when that starts to drop, that'll go back out through a little tiny creek down there, the one I filmed once um, just down there where the back of where they built the uh, new Windsor Bridge. So this is a road here that goes up the Freeman's Reach, these power poles. So you see how high the wire's up. So look, there's even a bit of road there just barely sticking out. And then it goes up the hill. So directly behind us now, back of the helicopter is Freeman's Reach High School. So there we go. So now we're heading back down here towards the river. This is those big power poles you see in that video of mine. I think it was the um, oh, Freeman's, Freeman's Reach Hour, you see? Here's the shed. That's where I turned down there. And Mr. Dog and I went down to there. That's where we went. So the other building, Red Roof. This is the famous house in a country practice TV show. That's that one about up here somewhere oh there it is there there it is there it is the, the old big sort of oh it just see the cameraman comes back up there it is there look there's that bigger whole house i filmed that was in a country practice that one there in the tv show as well as there's another one up here this is freeman's reach road so what happens for all this water to get out of here to back over here to the Windsor River. See, this is where the guy drowned. Um, the Hawkesbury comes around the corner there. And it goes that way, and then it comes back this way, right? So it's a big, whew, like that. It goes right around. Let's see if we can spot it. See, it's running over the road. Yeah, that's where he drowned, right there. That's the point there. That's where he drowned. I parked the car there one day. And I talked about it. He come down there, he swam in there. We are over here as kids. See, so what it does, when it floods in this farmland, all over here, this is Terrace Road. There's New Windsor Bridge just down there. And there's the road going to Wilberforce, right? That's up there. Right, there's a creek in here. And that comes out way over that side. Back into the Hawkesbury. So that's how the water gets out. So it hits it, it hits that as a wall, goes over the wall, fills up that, and then it drains out to the eastern side. You might notice how all these farmers here have got their houses up pretty high. So they build the houses up above top of the sheds. One of those old sheds down there. I just come across this video and I just thought, oh, oh, you know, I'll do a quick one on it. I've been all I've been right here to this building. I've been there. I've actually been there. It's, um, that's the old condemned one. This is the new one. But all they do is they take their furniture upstairs and they put it upstairs because they know it won't get washed away because it's a flood zone. It's not a flood channel. There's a difference. It just It's just a, a body of water. So anyway, if you want to watch that, that's what it is there. View the area of Sydney. Search area of Sydney seen from helicopter Monday 22nd of March Channel 7 News right so yeah there we go <laughs> yeah I grew up there as a kid
Anyway, that's a little short one there for me, Mr. See how this farmer looks. See, look, he knows exactly where he can park all his tractors and trucks. Look, he knows exactly how high where to park all his stuff. Everybody knows. And these guys jump up and down and they say, oh, winds is going to go underwater and yeah, people are going to be drowned and all this sort of garbage. Look, see, they know how high the flood water goes. The council knows. Now, this is, um, what am I looking at here? There's a cloud in the road. Oh, yeah. That's Windsor Hospital here. That's Windsor Hospital there. And that's where we first flew across that way, right? And this is Macquarie Street. This is George Street, Windsor. And I had a photograph of this here was underwater, right here. This here, the highest point of Windsor, was actually underwater in 1961. So they're making out this was a very big flood. No. So there's the Jolly Frog. There she is there again. So there's Macquarie Street, there's the old Windsor Road there, and that goes up there over to the new bridge. Comes up here, this is now roundabout, and there's the new bridge, and there's a video of mine, there's that house there my mother was in, just here, where I've got the finger, and there's the new bridge there, look, it's underwater, what's the point of that? That's stupid. When you've got that other bridge, let's go back just a fraction, Uh, back a little bit more. There's that farmer again. And we swing around and we come over towards Windsor. And then I said, oh, that's Windsor Hospital. I was wrong. And then you see the road between Windsor to Mulgrave. There it is there. Look at that. It's clearly out of the flood water. So why didn't they make the new Windsor Bridge the same height? Which is this one right here. Look, it's underwater. Brand new bridge, it's underwater. So that's a bit of stupidity, see? And that's how you go to Wilberforce. You drive around there, and that's how you go to Wilberforce. Right up around there, all right? So I said Jolly Frog, very distinct. Five windows, white roof, go down. And uh, just people look just <laughs> and a good look. But the 1961 flood, it fell right up to the awning of that building right here. Just I've got the video with the um, little excavators going up the old bridge road just there. It goes clunk, 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 clunk. And that's the building just here. My mother was standing on there on the balcony. And the water, that's it right there. There it is. Look, see. See, the water's way down there. Look, there's somebody walking. And she was standing up there on that balcony in that corner there. And the water was lapping underneath the corner of that awning up there. So you can see the difference of the flood level. That's two stories higher. So imagine all that there being two stories higher. All that area. That is a massive amount of water. But that's just me, I'm a local Australian, lived at Windsor and Richmond all my life, and I just know these things. So if you want to watch that, here it is again. Yeah, so. Anyway, all right, that's it there for me, Mr. Hominoid. Have a good night. Hello to Crudon Bear, and um, what's the English guy's name? There's an English guy sent me one or two t uh, messages to this Jolly Frog. There's a building there. There it is right there. Look, you can see it. My mother was standing right there in the corner of that building. And all that there was underwater. All this here was underwater. Right up to here. All that was under. 1961. And they said, oh, see, now this is the old Windsor Road that goes to McGrath's Hill. And that's the road there that goes out to Cadoy and out to Weissman's Ferry, and then that comes around there, that's a McGrath's Hill pub, I've had a beer in there many a time, and there's the old petrol station my mate's father used to own, so there's a the road there that says Cat Eye, Weissman's Ferry, it's a lot easier when you've got a commentary to know what it is, see that's, that's mobile now, um, as I said, that's that's the McGrath's Hill Hotel. 
and you can see how high the water is there. Well, a friend of mine in the 70s, he got killed. He put his hand up and hit those power lines from a boat. That's Windsor High School. And that's Busway's Bus Depot. And that's the um, Mushroom Factory. So, so this is the road between McGrath Hill and Windsor. So why didn't they build the new road from uh, Windsor to Wilberforce as high as that? See, they do know how high it floods. It's just pure stupid, stupid incompetency building that new Windsor Bridge that low. It's just too low. Because if they build it, now you're going to say, well, you know, the road on the other side is going to go under. But look, if they can build bridges like this here, where this Windsor Bridge goes under, right, so there's that there, that goes off to Richmond, here's Macquarie Street, right, here comes Jolly Frog, Windsor Hospital, there's Jolly Frog, remember the Jolly Frog, right? So if they build a bridge high enough across there, they could quite easily draw, draw a straight line straight across there and put a high-rise bridge all the way right across over there to White, um, Wilberforce. Because they've got the technology now to do it. Now, that there is between McGrath's Hill over here, and that's Windsor, and that's Cat Eye out over the background, and Wiseman's Ferry. Now, all this flood water, I've said many a time, is caught up between... Wilberforce to Sackville and it's where the two big mountain ranges come down there's like that there's two big mountain ranges and that's why the water can't get out it's like a real tight little drain plug and that's why it all backs up here and this is like the fish tank you know just fills up full of water so look even this old bridge here look that's still above the flood water so why is new bridge there underwater it's just stupid I know I've got one a bit, but at least I'll make sense. You know, you think these people would have had enough brains, these engineers would have had enough brains to build a bridge the right height. So this now we're looking at, this is McGrath Hill. And that's the road there going out there to Cadoy. Anyway, you can look at that there yourself. But the memories, eh? Hey, floods. And everybody's up and down on the news and everybody was worrying about it. So there's, there's McGrath's Hill pub. Nobody's coming out here and they're going back down here. They're going back into the city. So there's plenty of cars. They can get right through the city from there. They don't get flooded. See, it's all uphill. There's no there's no flood water. Flood waters are all the way over there and all the way down the bottom on this side. And again, here we go. Here's McGrath's Hill. And that's the Windsor Mushroom Factory. And there is the Windsor Railway Line. Railway lines to the south, and that's a Mulgrave train station. So there's the railway line there. So here's the railway line here. So you can see the poles for the overhead wires. That's the railway line there. That black line. Now, this is where I am. I'm way over this way. So all this water is coming down this way from South Creek at St Mary's. This here is um, the south side of McGrath's Hill. Nobody ever gets to go down there. People don't realise some of the big, beautiful properties that are in there because they're dead-end roads. And people just don't drive down there. These locals have got some of the most beautiful homes. Look at the big swimming pool. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? At McGrath's Hill. And people think, oh, who want to live out there? Well, yeah, this is why. Because all the cars go over here there's the railway line, and they live on the other side. So it gives them a, a blockage. Now this over here is a vineyard, and the vineyard level crossing. That's that video I've done, vineyard level crossing. Now this is coming up towards Riverston. So you can see these double power lines. They run into Riverston. That's how they get their power. And then this over here, this is Marsden Park. Now, all this ground in here used to be the Riverstone Meat Company. That's right, your Riverstone Meat Company used to own all that ground there. That's the Richmond Roads over there in the fog. 
you can't quite see it and all that there was just full of uh, beef cattle now that's south creek here and see so you can follow the tree line that's south creek that's and that's richmond road that should be richmond road there i'm going to guess it can't really see yet yeah there's windsor downs it said there's houses there and this is where the railway line was supposed to go the railway line from Robes Creek is supposed to go Glenpool to Leppington to St Mary's, then through here, and then come around the edge of South Creek, and then come into uh, Ferry Road, and then come around and go left of Windsor and right back to McGrath's Hill. So that's where that railway line is. So that's South Creek here. Just follow the trees. It's always a dead giveaway. Anyway, that's a video. That goes for 1 hour and 21 minutes. So, uh, yeah, so if you want to watch it, that's Windsor Downs. Just remember that house here with the big funny roof. See? Anyway. What's he doing here? They've got a, they're doing something. Oh, it looks like they've got a horse. Or something's happening. I don't know what's going on. Looks like they found something. Might be a stuck horse in the ground. Plenty of people there. Don't know at the time. Looks like a horse. Looks like it's... Yeah, the, yeah he's, he's... Doing something. Trying to get it up, I think. Horses will just light up, lie down and give up. They'll just, you know... These, these blokes out here look in a boat. You can look at the chopper a little. <laughs> Good on him. Great cam great camera crew. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming back out there. That must be an animal. Anyway, that's it there for me, Mr. Hornwood. I'll see you later.